<laughs> hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. You know your favorite duo. <laughs> we are here again. Yo. Okay, so welcome back to our channel. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for the love and for always coming back and mm -hmm. for supporting and mm -hmm. for always commenting, liking, mm -hmm. and subscribing. Mm -hmm. If you are not in this category, start liking. <laughs> Subscribing, you need to join the on notification, sharing, you know, commenting. Just start because we give you knowledge tips in the midst of vibes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> knowledge tips and in the midst of vibes. It, there's nothing better than that. Imagine combo. You're learning, but you're also <laughs> but you're also vibing at the same time. You know? So Anyways, welcome back and today we'll be telling you guys about our different experiences when we applied for our German visa, student visa, yeah, German, student, German visa. student visa, so yeah. our different interview, visa interview experiences. So, particularly <coughs> on that. Get your zumbo, <laughs> your wine, your, your popcorn. popcorn, sit back. Oh my god, you're talking in sync. <laughs> and yeah. relax because this gist is about to be... What? Maybe. For instance, we are two Nigerian ladies, right? She came from Nigeria, I came from China, so the perspective is like different. Yeah, so that's why you need to sit down and listen to this. Of course, we applied from two different countries, yeah. and at least from what I've heard so far, there's usually like some differences, despite the fact that it's the same country we're trying to get into. Mm -hmm. There are different patterns in these different countries. So today, we'll be telling you about a different experience. So you want to go first or... No, no, no. Let's go first. Let's start from home. Nigerian start from experience. home. <laughs> Nigerian I came experience. from home. Okay. So, um, pretty much, um, I'm sure by now you must have already seen how to apply for a student visa from mm -hmm. her um, page if you have one so we're going to put the link below so you yeah, should go check, check that one out so mm -hmm. there's no need to go for that to start telling you all the things that you need yes here I'm we're just telling you somewhere mm -hmm. above and you can always check. exactly so here we're just going to tell you how it was for us so for me my interview um day was my interview time was quite early one morning it was mm -hmm. it was actually in january january 2018 mm -hmm. no oh jesus christ january 2019 <laughs> not 18 january 2019 so um i went there with all of the documents that were required mm -hmm. the korea bag i don't know did you guys need korea bags mm -hmm. so in nigeria to apply you need to when you're going with your to yeah. apply for a visa you have to have gone to a career office, UPS, DHL, whatever, mm -hmm. and you pay for a career bag, you should have your house address or where you want them to send your passport to as the delivery address. Then the mm -hmm. sender's address should be the German embassy address. So mm -hmm. it's more like you are paying the, for them to send your document out because you wouldn't go there to take your document. They will send it back to you. So oh, okay. that career different. bag is very important. You need to go with it and make sure you address it properly because hmm, i know somebody who put wrong address well let's not go to that gist. <laughs> let's not go into that gist. but that address is very important the german embassy address would be the sender the receiver should be your address or whatever house um whatever location you want them to deliver your documents to because you're sending your original you're giving them your original and photocopy so they'll have to send your original mm -hmm. document back okay. anyway so i went with all of all these things mm -hmm. if you guys know there's this guy in front of that German embassy gate. Everybody has a bad thing to say about him. He's like the chief of security or whatever. I don't know. But that guy is like, you know, devil's advocate that just came <laughs> to try to make people not to have... The, that guy is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> so when I got to the oh gate, God. it was like my turn. And I had arranged my document because I had already had like... The gist and everything i did my research like if you guys know you know that me i'm always all about research being at so <laughs> i had done my research i had arranged my documents accordingly mm -hmm. and then i went there and this guy like so you know like i was trying to form smart girl so when he says bring out your passport i bring it out sharp sharp with the with the um what's it called with the photocopy he's like guy i know what i'm doing <laughs> and then he's like no i said 
only the original. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no problem. So I brought the original <laughs> out, yeah, and then he made me arrange it in like originals, one part, Put first um, photocopy, second photocopy, another part, which was not the typical arrangement <laughs> from what I read. So he would tell you what documents to bring out. You bring out, you bring out the photocopies, and you keep keep on the chair. Do the same to the next set, next set, next set. If you go and bring, even if it was one document that was remaining, he has not told you to bring out that document. You bring it out, he can send you home. <laughs> because that guy, that guy was terrible. So you just anything he says, just do it. So he's a Nigerian guy. Yes, he's a Nigerian guy. So pretty much that was it. I. I dropped the, the, I arranged the documents the way he wanted me to arrange them and then he let me go in, like he gave me the documents, okay, it's arranged and then I go in. So I went in, you drop your phone, whatever, at the gate. Of course. You're allowed to come with only a very small bag because the bag has to fit into the locker. So you, mm -hmm. if you like, if you're traveling from somewhere, I don't know where you keep your luggage <laughs> yeah, or your huge bag, but you can't take it there to the embassy because they, they won't even let you in. So I went there with like the file where mm -hmm. my documents and a very tiny bag. So I put my bag and my phones and everything. They would tag it and then you go in. So for me, the person that interviewed me was a Nigerian and she wasn't like inside the main building. It was like still at that gate area. There was there's one office there. So I got in and then the lady in front of me uh, was applying for a family re reunion. Her husband was already in Germany. So pretty much they were asking her like some things to say in Ger German, like the alphabet, the phone mm. number, um, not the numbers. Mm. And she was like reciting them in German and whatnot. And I was just sitting down there and her kid was actually like disturbing. This baby was just, you know, trying to jump around. Maybe like whatnot. kids, typical kids, right? So me, the lover of children that I am, this the mother of it. <laughs> so I actually volunteered to carry her kid and I carried the girl. We played a little bit while the mom was like answering all of these questions. I think they're asking her like they're asking some questions like, Oh, how did you guys meet? How long have you been dating? When did you, where did you get into your wedding? Typical all of all these questions. Yeah. Reason. So she was just answering and answering and answering. And I was just carrying the baby and we're playing. While well, the lady that was interviewing her, the visa officer, was actually kind of looking at me and the child. And then I was like, playing with the child in my element. Like, you know, I'm a natural with this thing. When it comes to children, I'm a natural. And Sorry, this girl no. slept off in my arms, which was actually so cute. Mm -hmm. And she slept off and it was just like, everybody's like, oh, oh you're not going to think. And the lady finished her interview and she turned to carry her child. And she's like, oh my God, she slept. Because this whole time she didn't even know. She, her head was there. She has to go and meet her baby in Germany. She's not seeing what's going on. So she's like, oh my God, she's like, thank you so much. And everything. And she carried the baby and she left. So it was now my turn. Now, the thing is, for it, they always take cash. Like mm -hmm. the visa fee has to be cash. And they will tell you to come with change. Yeah. I didn't have change. So I was now trying to ask like the security. This was before I entered this. I tried to ask the um, security officers outside for change but then they were like oh they can't give me because they're not like the cctv is like everywhere they can't be seen collecting or giving me money they'll basically just conclude that it was bribe so nobody wanted to give me change so i entered this side i'm just thinking these people now take one thousand and not give me change like you give me money <laughs> so i got it and then the lady when it was like, like my turn the lady said okay give me your documents i give her my document and she's like okay give me your uh, visa fee and then I, I kind of gave her, I was just like, but ma, I, I don't have change. I'm like, please ma, give me back my thing. Like, I don't have change. And she says like, uh, okay, that I really need to give, like, I need to give her change because they can't give me any change and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to explain that. I was trying to ask, ask the security officers outside, but mm -hmm. everyone is scared like that they would be accused of bribery, or receiving bribe and whatnot. So they didn't give me. And then there was like this man and his son who wanted to apply for a Schengen visa, tourist visa. So she was like, oh, you can ask the people behind. So I turned to them and I asked. Luckily for me, they had changed and then they gave me. Mm. But so then I, they, you know, like, can mm -hmm. I ask, mm -hmm. how much was it for the visa application? It was, um, was it 31,050 Naira or 35,050 okay. Naira? It was 30-something okay. thousand and there was like this small change, like, like 15 Naira, okay, 30, that was like 250 15 or something, yeah. but there was just some small money. I think at that time, it, if you check the exchange rate, it was actually 75 euros. 
so yeah, if you check years. check yeah so mm -hmm. i like now of course it's way higher than what 30 something but then it was 30 something thousand naira and had like small change so that's why i needed the change so um i gave her my document so she first of all asked me like so what's the name of the school you're going to i told her uh what program are you going to study i told her she said um what school did you study i mean she had this thing she just wanted to confirm if i knew them so these were the questions she was asking me she's like okay so what school did you study in nigeria like university of port harcourt mm -hmm. she then said okay so she said um so no she then goes um what city is your school i'm like berlin she says okay um how long is your program 18 months okay and she goes Baby tell me still. tell me something you know about germany hmm. and guys i'd i'd read like i was going to drive i had read but it was like the reading it will fly, <laughs> it, it fly over my brain in the moment i was just like okay um the capital of germany is berlin um Germ germany is known for their love for potato <laughs> god that was so stupid they are known for their love for potatoes they have them how many states a capital i have actually forgotten now but that time guys i read i knew how many states i knew all the states and capitals i was like yeah, they have uh, how many states and how many capital um they have i think two main political parties <laughs> she now says okay like, it went really mm. have to kind of she then said so okay about the political parties um she mm. then no she then asked me um what's the um the name of the mayor of berlin i think i remembered his name but i didn't remember his she then asked me what is his party and i was like <laughs> guys beam, beam, beam. Guys. i don't remember and i had read these things the funny thing is i had read these things so i knew that they could ask me this question but the thing is maybe for now i think hmm. i've realized that somehow i'm beginning to pick interest in politics i i used to be terrible don't ask me anything about politics i hate it i don't know anything about it i don't want to know so when they start asking me things related to political it's parties, always easy to forget you have killed me <laughs> so i'm just like um I can't really remember. She's like, so is that all you know about Germany? That's all? No, 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 my sister, I'm giving you a lot. <laughs> I've not been here before. And depends on the interview. You a lot. Hmm. Depends on the interview, you like, was mm -hmm. she in Nigeria? She was a well? Nigerian lady. Oh, okay. So she's like, is that all you know about Germany? I'm just like, um, kind of, yeah. And she's like, have you been to Germany before? I'm like, no. She's like, have you been to any European country? I said, no. Yeah, I, had, yeah, I said, no. And she's like, have you been rejected a visa before? Like, no. <laughs> Hello? No. Nobody try. Don't try it. I was like, no. And she's like, okay. Um, she then asked me, I think, about my fees because I had like the the fee confirmation to show that I had paid fees because my program I paid fee. So I had that one to show. And she's like, um, okay, so um where is your blocked accounts? Uh, confirmation i gave her mm -hmm. for the blocked account and she's like okay where is your motivation letter i looked i gave her the motivation i'm not even sure she read that thing she just looked at of course i don't think that they weren't giving and then like says, right yeah They're just the interview so one and the... she then looked at me and she's just like um okay no problem um she then printed out something like this was supposed to be a sleep i would used to come get my your passport um, to come get my passport yeah because was it to come get my passport i don't even no, know what I'm saying. I didn't do my no there was a slip so to I confirm no, no it was to confirm payment like so they had like how much i had paid the visa i was applying for something like that that was what was on that mm. slip so that slip she gave me that slip and she kind of took a she scanned my passport and gave me back my passport because german german embassies don't hold your passport so she gave me back the passport and they the don't hold your passport yeah in nigeria they don't hold your passport they held mine but continue <laughs> <laughs> they don't hold your passport in nigeria so she gave me back the passport and the sleep and like i gave her the career back and everything and she's like okay so um the visa usually takes um four to six weeks yeah she said four to six weeks so um we would send you an email that was all she said and I'm like, okay, no problem. Is that oh, because, and I said to her, okay, we'll give you this visa. Don't be telling me in 46. What in 46? You're telling me no. They can't tell it's you that. that time. So 
She's like, okay, so this, that, 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 that. I'm like, okay. 